Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Summer and Rising Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages. As this is a general reading, messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I can be picking up on someone around you or someone you could be dealing with, so you might have to swap the roles. And if this reading doesn't resonate right away, and maybe something that happens down the line, if you'd like, you can keep this in your back pocket or come back at a later time. We're gonna take a look and see what messages we come through for you guys for this week coming up, as well as you know, if this is the remainder of June. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for my Libras. Libra, synchronizing Venus. I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys are interested, you can check me out on Instagram at jstonetero. And if you guys notice that I sound differently or the microphone isn't as clear, it's because I have to use my phone to record the audio because Mercury Retrograde has been messing with many things, including my microphone. So it stopped working, unfortunately. So now it's like, I gotta use this for the time being um, and eventually get something new. But I'm kind of waiting for Mercury to go direct before I make any new purchase, because I ain't trying to have a messed up microphone or give me issues or something like that. Anyways, so it's fine for the time being. So anyways, let's get into this for Libra, somewhere nice in Venus for the week coming up. Any messages for Libra, summarizing Venus? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for my Libras for the rest of June 2021? Any messages for Libra, summarizing Venus for the rest of June? Any messages for Libra, summarizing Venus for the week coming up? What can Libra, summarizing Venus expect? The deck's ready. Messages for Libra. Ooh, we got the elephant. We also have the horse. Ooh, overcoming obstacles. This week, the rest of June, you guys are crushing obstacles right, left, center. If there's been any delays, if you have been feeling stuck, if you've been feeling unmotivated or just having lack of inspiration, you've been maybe getting in your own way or have had fears come up, um, distractions, things that have just making thing, things that have just been making life a lot more difficult. You're being asked to <clears throat> you're being asked to trust that you're going to crush that um it's important for you guys to trust that everything has a reason and you know sometimes things don't happen the way we plan or the way we expect because we're being redirected down a different path um to trust our intuition as well sometimes we can get blocked and we maybe get overly analytical or our ego comes in and we're like, oh no, that can't be real. I'm just reaching. That's a coincidence. That's not possible. But actually, it is. It's right there in front of you. Accept it. Face it. Um, this is also a very auspicious card. This talks about good luck, good fortune coming your way. Like... I feel once Mercury goes direct on the 22nd of June, you're probably going to feel a big relief, especially because Mercury's retrograding in Gemini, which is your fellow air sign, Sista. Okay, so maybe you guys have been feeling it, um, of course, depending on your chart placements, things like that. Um, so I feel like once Mercury goes direct, you're going to just feel a huge relief, like just a breakthrough, and you'll be able to move forward and not feel so restricted, especially when it comes to speaking your truth or thinking clearly, because again, there's a bit of a block, and it's looking like that's being overcome, and you guys are going to be crushing those blockages or those delays or those setbacks, like, because that's kind of what Mercury retrograde does from time to time has caused delays and setbacks and it feels like we're moving five steps forward ten steps back but guess what that is about to end and with the horse coming out this is i'm kind of you know kind of getting saggy energy from this a little bit i always get saggy energy when there's a horse you know this gives me saggy vibes some of you may have saggy in your chart but this talks about determination this talks about needing to have the focus and concentration on whatever it is that you're trying to move towards or get done like it is possible but so, again some of you maybe have found this last month it's been very difficult to stick to your routine and schedules but again i feel like that's going to be over pretty soon and you'll be back on track and moving forward really quickly and the horse always talks about success and momentum and movement and getting that traction, gaining that traction so that, you know, you start off kind of slowly and then it kind of starts to speed up really quicker and then it's like, you know, spinning really fast. So it's just kind of like you guys are, it's like you've fallen off the horse, but now you're back up, you've gotten back up on that horse 
and now you're ready to go ride. <laughs> I don't know why I got that imagery, but okay, you're back on that horse like a cowboy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, but um, this is Earth energy. So remember to stay grounded. I know this has been a message that's come through for you guys quite often. Um, especially the last few months. Not really recently. I can't really remember to be honest. But to find the middle ground. I know that was a message for you guys. I know that. Like I know it for a fact. Don't know how recent. But definitely within the last few months I've said that to you guys. It's like especially for those that have been experiencing a lot of um, anxiety or your mind just might be racing a lot you might just have again a lot of those fears or what ifs or worries concerns um, maybe kind of struggling to tap in with your intuition things like that um, to find the middle ground and ground yourselves and balance yourselves and um, you know be around earth right hug the tree walk on the ground barefoot really do some grounding for those that have been really um, in your head get into the earthy elements okay <laughs> that'll bring some balance into that air energy um needing more structure that just came to my mind needing more structure some of you are needing more structure more um because you know maybe there's been a bit of procrastination or i'll do it later i'll do it tomorrow and so maybe that's been getting in the maybe that's maybe that's been getting in the way maybe you've been your own block maybe it's just been really difficult to again stay consistent or follow through with a plan it's just kind of like hard to stay motivated but it's looking like i'm saying this again it's looking like you guys will be overcoming that and kind of getting back into a routine into some sort of movement and you'll feel really good like it's super empowering these two animals are so strong so strong they're so like magical too. horses as well. Elephants, they're so even the hor horses as well. And notice both these cards, their third eye is highlighted. You know, so to really get in tune with your intuition. But again, when your mind is all over the place, you can't hear your thoughts. You can't hear your intuition because it's just clouded. It's clouded by illusions and things that might not even be the truth. And so it's like you're needing to take a step back. And, oh, that's actually interesting because the peacock's at the bottom of the deck. And this talks about looking at all perspectives, um, allowing yourself to digest whatever situation you are in and consider the possibilities and consider the outcome and consider um, what's in your control versus what's out of your control, right? Um, let's pull some tarot messages for you guys. Messages for Libra, Sun, and Icy Venus. For this week, any messages for Libra, Summer, and Ice, and Venus for the week ahead? What can Libra, Summer, and Ice, and Venus expect for the week ahead? Remain in June. Any messages for Libra, Summer, and Ice, and Venus for the week ahead? Any messages for Libra, please? Insight, wisdom, guidance for Libra, Summer, and Ice, and Venus for the week ahead. What can Libra expect? Any messages for Libra, Summer, and Ice, and Venus for the week ahead? end of June. Messages please for Libra, Summer and Ice and Venus. No, I'm not ready yet. Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's get it. Nope, it didn't feel right. Messages for Libra, Summer and Ice and Venus for the week ahead, end of June 2021. Any messages for Libra, Summer and Ice and Venus? I know I shuffled for a while. I have timestamps in the comments below. The deck's not ready. It does its thing and it lets me know it's, it's ready. It ain't ready for some reason, okay? Messages for Libra, Summer and Ice and Venus. End of June. Week ahead. All right. Okay, okay. Messages for Libra, Summer and Ice and Venus for the week ahead. Thank you. We have the Page of Cups backside. That's that, like hit one of my crystals messages for libra summer and Ising venus we also have the two of wands eight of cups oh this fell on top of the page of cups backside so for some let me hold that thought <laughs> messages for libra summer and Ising venus for the week ahead oh wow okay eight of pentacles seven okay this fell on top of that all right and we'll just go bottom of the deck the fool backside the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands and the Tower. Okay, so there's gonna tower on I think this is the back yeah, the back side. There's a new perspective that you're gaining. See, because you're having a breakthrough, Libra. You are having a big breakthrough. I think this has to do with yourself and your subconscious and your intuition, high priestess as well, coming out Piscean energy. And what did I tell you? Balance. 
two of pentacles finding the middle ground you may be juggling a lot in your life you might have a lot on your plate um just be careful not to bite off more than you can chew right that's all i'm gonna say I'm also getting as the two of pentacles, there's water in the background, like the ocean, like learning to balance your emotions, not allowing your emotions to rule you, but recognizing that you are in control of your emotions and how you feel. You always have a choice as to how you feel. That's a fact. Um, it takes a lot of practice and mastery, though, and it's not something that just happens overnight. And even those that are really talented at mastering their emotions there's still moments where the emotions overrule and overrun and that's life you know we're human that's what happens right we're not robots we're not programmed to behave a certain way and act emotionless right it's more just about finding the middle ground um you know what they say don't make what's the fuck <laughs> what was it was it saying don't make long-term decisions based off temporary emotions yeah, just a message for somebody out there. Anyways, so, like I said, I think the overall theme of this read for this week, the rest of June, whenever you come across this, is that you guys are having a breakthrough. You're having a perspective, you're having a change in your perspective, you're realizing something, and it's like, it's very important. I think your perspective perception perspective is changing on something when we look at the tower this is scorpio energy so there's very transformative energy that's around you slash you're going to be heading into um even with this eclipse energy you might be seeing things falling into place or seeing things play out we just had this solar eclipse in Gemini a few days ago, and a few weeks ago we had the lunar eclipse in Sag. So, you know, pretty important times, lots of illuminations of things that were once in the dark or not there. Now you're being shown. What am I saying? Things that were once hidden in the dark are now being illuminated. Uh, mindsets, things. And like, even when we look at the tower, the tower is fully standing. It's not crashing down. It's not broken. It's literally like your perspective on something's changing this week or the rest of June. You're going to be having some sort of realization. So that's kind of the theme as well. It's like you're having some sort of breakthrough in your perspective. Maybe you guys have been getting in your own way. Or again, like I said, your intuition's been blocked. Maybe you haven't been seeing a situation clearly like you had before. And even with that peacock at the bottom of the animal spirit deck, this talks about gaining a new perspective and like, you know, digesting a situation and seeing things exactly as they are, but also being open to the other perspectives, right? And so I'm just kind of getting the energy. We have the page of cups backside. Um, you know, I'm just noticing the water looks fairly calm. We also have the turtle out here. Like, you're processing emotions quite slowly. You're just kind of taking your time with something. Let me see. I'm also getting Piscean energy from this with the fish in the background, if you see it. Piscean energy, that came out quite a bit. So quite a bit of water actually coming through throughout this reading. So it's like processing your emotions. And again, it might be a little bit uncomfortable or out of your element. And like I said, with that two of pentacles that was at the bottom of the deck, it's like finding the middle ground between your logic and your emotions. Um, otherwise, you're either overly sensitive or you're just not even emotional at all, like just robotic and just trying to find the middle ground. And for some, that might be very much of a struggle or difficult but it's about working through that. I'm getting the energy for some. It's like you could have walked away from something recently or a while back. And maybe there's very little to no communication here. Because the Page of Cups backside can sometimes talk about a disconnect or very poor communication. If you're in communication with someone, but maybe you had put some distance between you and them. Or maybe you've kind of outgrown each other. Just talking about the possibilities here. Um, it's looking like you've gotten clarity on something or once you kind of allow yourself to process these emotions here and again it's a little bit uncomfortable it's like you guys might be trying to ignore it or 
you know, it's you're not so much open with it. Maybe you're just keeping it to yourself, especially as we did have that high priestess energy come out as well, as if you guys are kind of just, again, and that's been a message for you guys as well the last few months. is like kind of just keeping your thoughts and feelings to yourself not really showing it to the world or being vulnerable with those around you and that's fine like everybody to each their own but i think you guys are just processing a lot of things emotionally and maybe for a while you've been just kind of ignoring it for some time just trying to stay busy with work and focus on your career focus on yourself your studies and not really paying too too much attention to um, an emotional situation but even when we look at the Eight of Cups, there is the sun coming through. And how that talks about illumination. And then, like I said, with that tower that came out, illumination, a new perspective. is So, like, notice the themes going on here. Like, there's a... Pra oh, can I speak? A breakthrough in perspective. <laughs> there's a breakthrough in your perspective or your the way you view a situation. Something that maybe you either walked away from or there could just be some emotional distance or a disconnect. But it's looking like... You're gaining a new understanding with that Seven of Cups, but you're feeling positive about this. This tower moment that you're having, I don't think it's bad. I actually think that you are surrendering, and when you have this breakthrough, it's actually freeing. Because even when we look at the Page of Wands, he's looking over at the tower, and he's like, okay, I understand your perspective, or I understand why this happened, or I see how things play like see and that is the elephant you know twists and turns things that are out of our control setbacks delays you know we move five steps forward ten steps back why is this happening to me but then after you know when we have trust that there's a bigger picture to this and that it's actually leading to something better worthwhile right we're like oh i get it now right because now we have the hindsight we're like okay i get it i was frustrated i didn't see it i was in the thick of it but now that i'm out of the storm oh it makes so much sense like oh wow i'm actually very pleased with how things unfolded like at the time i didn't understand at the time i felt confused or disconnected or i was really getting in my own way but now it's like i understand i get it spirit very clever, very smart, you know? That's kind of what I feel from this. Like, this page of wands looking over at the tower, but the tower is still standing. It's just a new way of seeing this tower, a new way of seeing the situation. And it's actually more of, like, a relief. And then it's, like, it gives you the courage the, to then move forward on something with the knight of wands, Right, so the page of wands starts off with an idea. So you had some sort of shakedown, a breakdown of a perspective, recognizing the situation for what it is. Maybe for a little bit you felt confused, unsure, but now you understand it. And again, there's this relief. You feel more like a sigh, like, oh, okay, it's not as bad as I thought, you know, kind of like that. Um, and now it's like taking action because before. You were kind of just standing at there at the cliff, this full energy backside, like not really taking action, just kind of standing, overthinking, contemplating. What if I don't make it? What if I jump and I fall and I break my back? <laughs> you know, like worrying about the what ifs. And again, that can lead as a block or we're not trusting ourselves, trusting our abilities. There's a lack of confidence, um, some insecurities and fears about the what ifs and the unknown right? He's looking into the unknown. He's like, but what's out there? I don't know what's going to happen once I jump off this cliff. I don't know if I'm ready yet. And then you had this, this new perspective, this breakthrough, whatever this is. And now it's like, okay, I actually feel quite confident to take action because the Knight of Wands, he is very confident. You know, he doesn't second guess himself. And so that's basically the energy is like, at first or the beginning of the spread or kind of whenever you come across this you might be in the stage of like second guessing and not really sure and just again two of wands standing there not taking any action and having a decision do i stay where i'm at or do i just take that risk take that leap take that jump moving forward and put the work in put the effort in you know oh, but what if i fail what if this what is that well you don't know unless you try we have two eights out here just realizing that now we also have two pages for some, you know, since it is Mercury retrograde and this does highlight the past and looking back at the past, for some, let's just say that you and a friend or you and an ex or 
let's just say you and a friend, family member, just someone who you had a connection with, maybe you guys drew apart or distanced yourself. Communication might not be the most best at this time. And maybe some of you are like, do I say something? Do I try to clear the air? Do I try to um, work things out with them? Or like, what if they're going to reject me? Or what if it's just not going to make anything better? What if I'm just going to look like a fool? Um, Things like that. But then it's like, you know what? I have a new perspective. I'm going to just try and risk it. And then look at this, getting clarity, you're getting answers or just like a lot of positivity. And you obviously have many options as to how you can move forward in this new direction. But that's just for some of you, like maybe there's been very little to no communication with someone in your life. Doesn't have to be an ex, okay? But then some of you are like deciding, or at first you were kind of second guessing, like, should I just leave it? Is this it? Should I let it go? But they mean a lot to me. So like, should I apologize? Or should I like, should I make the first move or communicate to them? And then breakthrough and you're like you know what yeah let me let me test it out you know that's another scenario not always going to be resonating for everybody than just telling you guys possibilities of what else i'm seeing from this you know if this is talking about your career right you have a choice do i stay do i go do i give this a shot do i give this a chance you're kind of second you're guessing yourself oh but what if i'm not good enough or what if this you know, kind of getting in your own way, kind of blocking yourself, lack of trust. Maybe you've been putting in a lot of effort, lots of work, but you feel like you're not really getting anywhere, but you're needing to just remain focused and determined and have that concentration. Um, like, you know, with that two of pen, not two of pentacles, two of wands, you can either choose to keep going and putting in the effort, or you can just, you know, say, okay, this is it. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go somewhere else. Like, again, the, the choice is up to you, but it looks like once you make up your mind, once you have that breakthrough, that clear perspective then boom you see things clearly and you're ready to move forward and again that horse energy and that momentum and this horse also talks about um fitting meditation into your life as well as exercise those two things are what the secret power behind the horse it's success you know so putting those things into action in your life taking care of your mental health taking care of your physical health that's going to help aid in your success. It really will. Um, another thing I'm getting on like, okay, what else am I getting? I'm like looking at other scenarios of like, what else could I get from this? It's like some of you could have recently, again, walked away from something or left something behind or you're entering the unknown right after leaving the known, stepping into the unknown, that full energy we're talking about. And whatever you may have walked away from, you turned out to have better options. It's like you walked away, look at the, look at the Eight of Cups. It's damaged, these cups are dented and broken, and you're looking to the future of like what it could be, right? You're looking, wishing upon a star, but what if this and what if that and oh, I don't know. But then you take that jump, you take that risk, and you actually have many better opportunities awaiting you of an abundance of choice here all because you left behind what no longer served you that's for someone out there so there's like lots of different ways we can look into this libra but basically to summarize first of all ground yourselves work on calming your mind focus on your wellness your health mental health physical health taking care of yourself um But it looks like you guys are going to be having a breakthrough. Whatever you felt stuck in or whatever hasn't been really working out for you, I think, again, once Mercury goes direct, you're really going to feel that propelling motion helping you move forward. You're going to have big breakthroughs and you have a choice on where you're going, whether you want to go left, straight, whatever. You have many choices as to where you could go moving forward. The choice is up to you, balls in your court. And... Yeah, I mean, like, when we look at the Fool, the Two of Wands, and the Seven of Cups, it's like, whatever you choose, whatever you hope for, it's yours. It looks really positive, you guys. And just to be confident and believe in yourself. And to have fun and be creative and expressive and don't second-guess yourself. Just go for it. Okay? Wait a minute. This is a unicorn. He's riding a motherfucking unicorn. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I really did not realize that. And I've had this deck for a while now. It's a unicorn. 
believe in the impossible. That's been a theme for a few signs recently. I think Sag had it. Cancer had that. Um, believe in the impossible, right? Oh, but unicorns aren't real. What if it is? <laughs> what if this dream actually could become a reality? I'm just saying, y'all. To trust your intuition as your intuition will never fail you. Unless you mistake your intuition for your ego. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> That's why we got to have the discernment and to be able to decipher. Is this my intuition or is this just my ego playing tricks on me? You know, because that happens. It does. But yeah, big, big breakthroughs. I think your perception on yourself or those around you or something here is changing. It's all about how you look at things. Your perspective on something's changing. Your viewpoint on something's changing. But it's positive. And I think you're going to feel like a sense of relief. Now, I'm going to be using a new Oracle deck that I've had for a while trying to learn. I've been itching to start using it in readings. I'm not too familiar with them, but like I just kind of want to try it out. So, fairy Oracle messages. We're going to get one for Libra, Summer Nights, and Venus. Any fairy messages for Libra, Summer Nights, and Venus for the week ahead, the end of June. Any fairy messages for Libra, Summer Nights, and Venus regarding this reading? Any fairy messages for Libra, Summer Nights, and Venus regarding this read for the rest of June or the week ahead for Libra, Summer Nights, and Venus? Any fairy messages, please, for Libra, Summer Nights, and Venus for the week ahead, end of June? Oh my goodness, I'm like not taking any of these, but... Okay, let's get into it. If you hear barking in the background, that is my dog. A little guard dog doing her job. <laughs> All right. Any fairy messages for Libra? Wow, that was quick. We have himself, number 17, masculine energy. I think this talks about... Um, let, me just look, let me look at this. The crown, third eye, and the heart. Or maybe that... Nah, that's the heart. Those are being highlighted. Your heart space, so those emotions, you need to feel your emotions. We also have the intuition, your third eye being highlighted, and your crown. So those are some interesting points to focus on. Okay, trusting your abilities. Let's take a look into this. I'm going to use the deck, the book, number 17, adding up to an 8, which we've had a couple 8s in this reading. Um, Y'all see, I have my notes uh, not not the notes. I have it highlighted. Okay, 17. Himself. Okay. Natural law, life force, magic, and shamanic power. Known as himself, the side is a guardian of both the hunter and hunted, and finds no conflict in that because he understands the many necessary balances of nature. The living bond between all life, himself is the breath that moves, the atom that dances, and is magic and pure being. Living, loving, own guest journeyman, and the master maker have the magic of doing, the creation of all things. The bright mother has the magic of manifesting and nurturing, but himself, he has the magic of procreation, of dancing the spark of life into being. His presence brings magic and life into a world where it's shaped and given form by Earth Mother. He dances as the bright mother gives us birth, powering us into the world. He is the great father. At the end of our lives, he is the one who dances the great dance of life and death. And it is himself who the piper plays his lonely call on the wave swept shore at year's end, dances open the gate between the world so that the dead may pass beyond. It is also he who is willing to sacrifice himself when that is necessary for the sake of those whom he protects. In between those two extremes, his wild yang energy is channeled through humans to benefit tribe and family. His family is all of us, human and animal. Shamans draw upon his power, and the best healers channel a balance between his power and the bright mother's nurturing energy. Even as our hearts beat within us, we learn to mediate the life force through joyful being and action. Expressing this power through healing and love and trust, we become more like himself. When himself appears in a card spread, he not only indicates that a great amount of energy is present in the reading, 
But he also strongly energizes the fairy cards around him. Well, this is the only one. Everything he touches becomes more of whatever it is. More alive, more vigorous, more powerful, more awesome, or more awful. This card in a reading can indicate great vitality, victory, or triumph, confidence, and power. There is leadership, an ability to command, steadfast, and integrity. Wild power held and channeled for the good of all by will. Himself speaks of protection, either the querent of someone or the querent owns protection too, like a child or elder. Acceptance of parental responsibility is important, as are deep committed relationships. He is the preserver of the natural world and its balances. Charmatic power may be indicated here, as well as potential for powerful spiritual healing. This card may also speak of erotic energy, passion, and potion creativity. And potent creativity. When the energy of himself is being blocked, we feel limp, inebriated, and drained. There may also be depression, either physical or emotional. Energy may be locked into obsessions or may swing from blocked to out of control. Twisted, the life force, strength, and or authority may be being misused as arrogant aggressiveness or violence towards others. When this card is reversed in a reading, it's not, but I just wanted to read this anyways. Careful and prayer consideration needs to be given on how energy can be rechanneled into its naturally creative and protective mode. At worst, this potent energy becomes a force of war, oppression, and domination. The very worst is when brutality or twisted sexuality is turned on to the very persons this energy energy within us should be protecting as all the side powers what has great potential for good can also have great potential for destruction volcanic release may occur okay so it's kind of like if you don't release maybe these feelings or you kind of ignore or block yourself from seeing the perspectives in front of you or having this breakthrough it may just reach a peak of intense energy where it may be like i'll blow up i can't speak y'all um this can be very healing energy if you use this to your benefit and you know i think this really does mention how you guys will be feeling a lot more confident and you know like i said at the very beginning of this reading is crushing those blocks so interesting interesting card interesting message let's get a couple of takashi messages wrap this up for Libra, summer nights and venus for the week as well as end of june any takashi messages to wrap this reading up for Libra, summer nights and venus any takashi messages for Libra, summer nights and venus for this reading okay because i don't want to shuffle anymore oh <laughs> inspiration Takashi messages for Libra, Summer Nights, Venus. Okay, thank you. And adventure. Ooh, okay. So inspiration. The river of all knowing allows every possibility to be open to you. Literally, oh, literally every possibility. Oops, is open to you. Um, be inspired by the beauty that surrounds you. Be inspired to open yourself to the riches the world has to offer. In every moment, in any moment, you can allow inspirational thinking to set you free. Which moment will you choose? Adventure. Enter into everything with openness and love, and enjoy the adventure of living. You never know what's coming next. Okay, Libra. So that is what I got for you guys for this reading. If you guys found this helpful or insightful, please let me know in the comments below as well as leave a like, subscribe. If you want, you can turn on the bell so that you're notified when I upload in the future. And if you guys are interested, you can check me out on Instagram at Jade Stone Tarot. With that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.